I just want to thank you guys for your uh, patience and interest. Uh, we haven't talked anything about foreign policy, about poverty, about seniors, about youth, and no one has said anything about the environment up here yet. So, Susan, um, your uh, leader and the NDPs talked a little bit about cap and trade, uh, putting a price on carbon. They talk about their soft commitment to proportional representation, although we've never seen that implemented when they're in power. What part of your platform is the favorite part that you borrowed from the Green Party? I think, I, I, think, yeah, I think you and I still want to do that photo op together, right Jim? <laughs> so the cap and trade program, exceptionally, exceptionally important. Make the polluters pay. We have got to make the polluters pay. And again, as far as proportional rep representation goes, we are on that same side as you, but we haven't been in power. We've been the opposition, but we have never been in power. 148 years we've been playing ping pong with these two guys right here. So that's why I'm asking the question back to you. What are you going to do too about the cap and trade program? Well, our, we, we talk about carbon fee and dividends, so that's, you know, it gets it back to the people that need it most, seniors, the people that are hurting for money. Cap and trade, you can actually buy your way into pollution credits, so there's a lot more abuse in the system. That's where I see it at, but uh, proportional representation, you guys have been in power and, and many provincial governments have the opportunity to even bring a referendum or a plebiscite to get the pulse of the of the province and never have you followed through on it. So you, there is some history of turning your back on democracy. So you're telling me that uh, the one time that Bob Ray as a provincial leader put up a proposal for the uh, proportional representation, that's not when it happened. And we read it, we read when you guys went to the polls and you saw that, that uh, task on the bottom, would you be interested in proportional representation? No one had a clue how it even read or what it was about. There was no education, there was no advocacy on it. And now today there should be, and I agree with you, Jim, I know we're not gonna get into an argument, but I also agree there should be proportional representation.